I'll talk to you a little bit today about how I got into DJing and some of what I've done up to now as a DJ. I'll also take you through some of the equipment that I use when I'm DJing um, and I'll also finally give you a little bit of a mixing lesson just in case anybody's ever thought about becoming a DJ yourself. To begin with, the term DJ, for anybody who didn't know, stands for disc jockey. Now, you may know me as another kind of jockey, but I'd like to put that to one side for right now. It all started for me when I got my first set of decks. They were belt drive Newmark decks and a basic Newmark mixer from Colin Reeves' son. Anyway, at that point I had no idea what I was doing. All I knew is I loved the music and I wanted to share that music with other people and give them the same experiences I'd had. It was all about sharing the love, man. I became so frustrated not being able to mix. I couldn't replicate what my DJ gods had done for me. So I joined the DJ Academy. That was taken by Andy King, a long time DJ of 25 years. He'd been there and he'd done that. So anyway, I graduated from there with flying colours. And it was at that DJ Academy that I met some guys. There we created a brand called New City Sound. You can see what we do at www newcitysound.co.uk all lowercase, no spaces. So that's a bit about how I got into DJing. Now I'd like to take you through some of the equipment I use when I DJ. So, this is the sort of equipment I use when I play out and when I DJ in clubs and bars. Uh, and for anybody who's wondering and anybody who's more experienced than maybe some of the less experienced people in the room, you'll be asking, where's the vinyl? Well, let me tell you, things have moved on, people. Now we use CDs. These two things here, these are CDJs. They allow me to play CDs just like vinyl. Remember, those all black discs. This thing here is what we call a mixer that allows me to blend the two tunes together to make some sweet sounds. Underneath here, I've got an amplifier and two speakers so we can hear the sweet, sweet music. So, now I'll give you a bit more detail about those CDJs. Okay, so here's a CDJ. So, let's get the music rolling. Okay, so as you can see, the play button down here starts the music. This thing in the middle here is just like the turntable platter. So I can put my hand on it to stop the music. And I can rock it forward and backwards, just like a record. This allows me to change the speed, just like if you touch the side of a record platter. And you'll see over here the pitch control. So that allows me to change the speed of the music. Either slow it down or speed it up. It's got quite a few other features here. These buttons here, these allow me to loop the tune. So if I want to create a repetitive loop, I just press the first one and the second one and that will just continually loop that piece of music now. And I can do some funky things with that. Now I can change the end point of that loop, bring it forward. create a real dramatic effect. Now you're feeling it, I can tell. 
And what about that mixer? What does that mixer do? So, that was a CDJ. This here is the mixer. Let's get the music going. This mixer here is a four channel mixer. So you'll see the four channels here. One, two, three, and four. Each of these channels can operate a different piece of equipment, like a CDJ or a turntable. This CDJ is operating through channel 4 here, and you see just to the right of that, that's the master channel. This channel here allows me to adjust the master volume. Right here is the crossfader that allows me to switch between channels, just like these channel faders do here. So that was some real basics of the equipment. Now let's move on to a little mixing lesson, just to finish the show. So, here we are, back at the CDJs, or the decks, as we'll call them. Okay, so I just want to give you a bit of, a, bit of an insight into what it's about mixing tunes together. So, oh my god, we've got a cat problem. Okay, what mixing is all about is blending one tune seamlessly into another. What I'm about to play you is house music. That's based on four beats to the bar. That's its rhythm. Now, the idea behind mixing is that you match the speed of the beats of the two tunes so they blend seamlessly. That's the reason behind the pitch control on the CDJs. What you then need to do is to make sure that the beats are in time and that the phrases of the music, the end points and the start points of the bars go together. That way the tunes will seamlessly match together. The first tune I'll play you is that tune by the Freemasons that we talked about earlier, Love On My Mind. I'll then try and give you a bit of an understanding about what it is to mix. Now, you'll have seen a DJ wearing headphones, listening to a tune in one ear and listening to the other tune playing out loud in the other. That's because I'm queuing up the track that you can't hear yet. Let me show you what I mean. Here's that Freemasons tune. So now, I'm listening to the other tune in this headphone here. Let me show you. There it is. The beat should be matching right now. So what I then do is I use the mixer to blend the two tunes together. So now you can hear both tunes playing, but they kind of go together. I'll now take the first tune out. Looks easy, hey? Maybe one day this could be you. Well, I hope you enjoyed your tutorial today and a little bit about DJing. Now, back to you guys in the room. <laughs>